realistic thinking gets a place, it gets a space, but also big, dreamy, wild, out of the box thinking gets a place too. I'm going to be teaching a free, not master class. This is going to be an amateur class because I don't know about you, but I've had enough of the master classes, but we're all amateurs at something. And the last number of years, there have been so many exhausting, defeating, grief worthy events and occurrences that <clears throat> I find many people that I come across, their dreaming muscle, their visioning muscle, their ability to see possibilities for themselves has really been dampened and toned down because of world events, global events, current events, local events, personal events for people for the last number of years. <clears throat> and you always have the ability to tap back in, to fan the flame of that possibility, of that passion, of that purpose. As long as you are alive in a human body, there's a passion within you that you can cultivate. There is a dream, it doesn't have to be big, even though people do talk about big dreams. There's a dream that you can nurture and encourage. You can put little sticks in that internal fire and bring it to a flaming, burning, fueling fire. There are many people I know who it feels that it's just embers burning away, barely getting by, and yet it doesn't have to be that way. We can still dream, you can still dream, even if you have felt sad, defeated, grieving, and challenged by the last couple of years, which my heck, I know I have. Earlier in my life, I really noticed that if I didn't attune myself and put my attention on positive or joyful or delightful things around me that I very easily and quickly tended towards massive anxiety, massive depression. And so in high school, I was reading Sark books. I was wearing silly socks. I was being around people who made me feel excited. I was recreating with some things. I was experimenting and trying. I was working later with a counselor and the highly sensitive person's workbook and all of this. Finding the way, what is my sweet balance of how much time and attention am I giving to the things which make me feel delighted with life, the things that tap me back into possibility. And one of the things often that I'm doing with clients and is in a one-on-one -on -one session is this level of brainstorming, of tapping back into possibility, of letting them see like there are so many things available to you. You have so much love and support from the unseen, from the spirit world, from the human world a lot of times too that we don't even realize. There's so much encouragement for you. And yet if you've gotten in a habit of letting the negative bias that our brains tend to focus on, if you've gotten in a habit of letting that be the reality, then that can really drag you down. It can curtail and cut off some of your dreaming. I just got off a call with a client and this video will go live in a couple of weeks, but because it is one that we were filming that she's letting me put on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> we talked about having a little bottle of reality or realistic thinking and that it's still something that she keeps in her focus, but it's not uncontained running rampant over her life. Realistic thinking gets a place, it gets a space, but also big, dreamy, wild, out-of-the-box thinking gets a place too. And the, the interesting thing is that over the last number of years, while we've had many events that were disruptive in negative ways, there are also many events of companies or people and whoever and or movements that are doing disruptive things, things that are counter to the status quo or to the norm that have a positive effect. 
And so next week I'm doing a free class. I'm not calling it a master class because it's not for the masters, it's for the amateurs. This is a dreaming and a doodling. This is an hour to come on with me, doodle, no doodling experience required, no drawing experience required. And let's tap back into dreaming. I consider myself to be a really big believer in possibilities and dreaming and all of that yummy good stuff. And then this week, I just finished this book that I was reading, a romantic women's fiction. And at the end of it, I thought, wow, the things this character did, I don't even, it's not that I don't think that I could do them, but I don't even think about doing those things. I wasn't reading this book to be inspired to dream bigger, but the, reading the book made me do that. And it's one of the reasons probably that I love to read and I read so much because every time I read, I, I see the world through another person's eyes. I get to experience things. Another book I read in the last week was about honey bee emeralds and it was a historical fiction. And I don't typically read that genre, although I think I'm gonna be reading more of it because at least in this style, this author did such a lovely job of making me intrigued by certain historical figures that I know just the tiniest bit about, but who have, I'm sure, very rich lives. And <clears throat> it was such a delight to the senses, too, to read The Honey Bee Emeralds, that I, I felt my life was enriched and invigorated. And this time of year, there's a lot of time that I spend inside, a lot of time that I spend kind of with what I would consider a mellow life. Like I'm not as motivated to go out in the evenings if it's cold or if I'm fighting off a cold or if it's dark already at five o'clock, but I am motivated to read my books. But our ability to dream, to tap into possibility can come from anywhere next week in this free workshop. And if you can't make it live, go ahead. There's a link. It probably depends on how big your screen is right now, where it'll be. There's a link, even if you can't make it live since it's 1030 in the morning, and I know some of you are working then, you can come to the replay or you'll get the replay emailed to you. So this doodling and dreaming is, let's increase your dreaming capacity by 10% or by 20%. Let's let you tap back into this because <clears throat> it's very easy with the way the human brain works and the way things of the world work to start falling into habits of not dreaming and not having a big enough vision for yourself that is congruent with what your capacity is for your life. And I can tell you right now, if you're listening to this, your life is not just supposed to be some annoying, sad, ho-hum, let's just crash in a downward trajectory to the grave type of situation. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be cool. There's going to be possibilities that tickle you and delight you, but they're not necessarily going to happen if you do all the same things you've been doing. If you think all the same things you've been thinking, one of the exciting things that comes with working with me is it gets to snap you out of something, uh, a path that you're in. And it's a positive burst of, oh, I never thought about it that way. Now, some people maybe don't have the capacity to work with me one-on-one -on -one right now. You don't want to, you're nervous about it. You get, you feel like you can't afford it, whatever. So this free class is a way to get a sense of what it's like to work with me and to let me help reignite that passion within you, that possibility for dreaming while we doodle and have some fun and tap into creative parts of your brain while you let yourself see yourself as a greater way in which you're letting yourself see yourself right now. Let Letting my opinion of you, raise your opinion of you to some degree. And so I really invite you to come. I won't, it's free because it's accessible to anyone. And again, the replay will be for those who sign up so that even if scheduling is a thing, it doesn't have to be a thing, but go ahead and sign up with the link there so that you can get notifications about this dreaming and doodling class. You can come to the amateur class. Again, it's not for masters. It's 
only for amateurs. If you're a master of something, then bring your amateur hat and bring your amateur pens or pencils or markers or crayons. And I'm excited to see you there while we start dreaming bigger, get that dreaming muscle warmed up so that by the time you're setting goals or resolutions or picking your word for the year in a few weeks, you've already expanded your vision of what's possible for you to be a little bit more open, to be more expanded. It doesn't have to be bigger in a go big kind of way. You, you might have a lifestyle that's really mellow and calm. However, how can we expand that to be more fulfilling for you? So that's what this is all about. Expanding your possibilities, tapping you into possibilities, connecting with the energy of these other people who are feeling and expanding the possibilities and flaming the fire of your dreams. Sign up with the link below. I hope to see you there. Take care.